Today we're gonna to be taking a look at what I think is the most powerful mini PC I've ever checked out on my channel. I mean, can you really qualify this as a mini PC? I think so, I mean, I think that's what the intentions were and it's definitely a heck of a lot smaller than a desktop PC, but this thing is a beast from what I understand. So Geekom sent this to me for purpose of review, checking it out, that type of thing. And I, I've messed with a lot of their mini PCs in the past and they make some awesome stuff. Some of their mini PCs are, a, you know, top of my list type of thing when it comes to having a little emulation setup type of thing. But this is the uh, Serpent Canyon Intel NUC 12 Enthusiast. It says mini PC kit. They do have some deals going on. They said they have the best deals ever. You know, that's that's according to them, right? But they do have a lot of sales going on as far as bare bones kits and like pre-set up ones. This one right here, we do have RAM and a SSD in. But if you're interested in all the deals they got going on, link down below. But we're gonna be checking this thing out, unboxing it. Uh, we have the Intel Core i7 processor there, the Intel Arc A770M graphics with 16 gigabytes GDDR6 VRAM. I don't know if I added an extra D or R there, but all right, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two Display 2.0 ports, HDMI 2.1, six USB 3.2, Intel 2.5 Ethernet port, Intel Killer Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. You can read the rest there. Oh, we have a SD card slot. That's what I'm freaking talking about. And if you don't have the pre-set up one, it does tell you down here what you need. But if you buy a pre-set up one, it comes to the operating system, the RAM and all that good stuff. So let's take a look here, see what we got. How do we, all right. I already cut the seal that was right there. Oh, let me get this, let me get this appropriately. There's the, uh, the little skull. On the box, it's a nice freaking box, dude. A really nice box. You got like a drawer right here. What is this? Like a little jewelry case or something? Keep your treasures in? I guess so. Let's get this PC out. This is nice. It is mini, but it is heavy. It's bigger than your typical tiny mini PC, but this is a lot more powerful than most of those. And we do have that, uh, SD card slot. I love when PCs have that. I, I don't know. It just it's convenient. All our ports on the front. Power side panel that you can remove. I think you could customize like you know kind of logo you want on there. There's our other ports. We already went over all that. Ventilation. Some you know grates and whatnot all the way around. I think that's yeah that's it for the top. So we got to open up the uh, little mystery drawer down here. So it looks like we've got power supply cable. That can't be the whole thing. This thing's, I, I'm sure that's not it. We've probably got a massive brick. What is this? Uh, it looks like a stand. Okay, that's cool. And then, uh, oh, some of like the little panel things for the side, I think, to customize. If you want to put like a logo or something on there to shine through. Little Allen key. That's a sturdy freaking stand. It, it would help if I showed you, but that's that's actually kind of nice. The stand, I don't know if I have it in there right, but that's a, that's a nice little stand. All right, what else is in the box? Yeah, I knew, I knew it. Holy crap, half of the box is the power supply. Yeah, holy crap, this thing is like, like half of the size of the PC. So first boot up, just real quick, you got the skull on the screen there, and he's glowing through on the side of the uh, PC case there. That looks kind of cool. It's almost like a 3D effect because it's so far behind. Looks very neat, looks very neat. But okay, I'm gonna get this thing set up. So okay, I got this uh, PC all set up, ready to go, and I was running into a few issues, kind of turned into a learning experience that, hey, I get to share with you guys, so that's cool. But um, I did all my normal stuff, updated the drivers, updated the BIOS, let Windows update, and PC games like Exoprimal here wouldn't load at all. Like, it would just crash. It would have a fatal error. Uh, other PC games wouldn't run either. And at first, I thought, oh, it's the game. And then, you know, as I tested more and more, it's like, oh, there's got to be something else going on here. Emulation, certain games and systems that I have no issues running on weaker hardware, I was having problems running at all on this system. So I did a little research. I made the mistake of going to Intel's site and using their tool that kind of auto uh, recognizes everything in your system and updates things from there. I used that and it, it recognized the Intel Arc 
770M, and it updated that, so I thought that would be cool, but it didn't work. Still had all the same issues. I did a little research, found that there is a game-specific driver for, you know, their graphics card. Once I downloaded that and updated, I wish it would have just gave me that option when I, you know, went to the Intel site, but it didn't. But once I updated to that game a specific driver, everything started working just fine. No issues. So yeah, if you have a PC that uses Intel Arc or you get an Intel Arc card and you don't have those game specific drivers, yeah, you might run into some issues. But once that was resolved, things started running just fine. I'm pleasantly surprised with this PC. Exo Primal's, you know, it's running respectably in my opinion. Uh, I have it on high settings right now. Initially I was trying it on ultra and it played just fine as well. Lower FPS, though. A little bit of the uh, forbidden fruit here. Nintendo Switch runs great on this system. Haven't had any issues, but initially, before I updated to that uh, game-specific driver, uh, Nintendo Switch wouldn't run at all. I started... That, that was where I started looking into issues. Like, hey, uh, Yuzu with... Uh, you know, Intel Arc, and I saw a lot of people having, you know, similar issues, and I was like, oh, maybe it's just a graphics card. Maybe it's just not compatible. But no, it's just that stupid driver. So yeah, if you want to use a system like this for emulation, you're not going to have any issues, really. I mean, higher-end stuff, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Wii U, you're going to be fine. Now, I've been using, like, a pre-setup build, this Retro Beast 4 terabyte drive here. And if you're using something like that, that's pre-set up for you, like plug and play type of thing, you may have to make a few minor adjustments with some of the emulators. But yeah, you're really not gonna have an issue if that's what you wanna use a system like this for. So this PC here, it's not gonna be for everyone. If you're looking for a cheaper mini PC, there's plenty of others you could take a look at. I have videos up on my channel and on my Amazon influencer page if you're looking for something a little cheaper, but if you're looking for something that gives desktop performance in a smaller package and the price is right for you, it just works for you, I, I definitely could recommend this with the processor, the combination of the processor that's in this thing, the Intel Arc graphics. Yeah, this thing is performing great. I mean, not having any issues. This game, I mean, I'm kind of messing up here. You know, I'm not the greatest at it, but Hor uh, Forza Horizon here, I'm running at 1440 high uh, settings and we're sitting at a locked 60 frames. So it can, you know, play plenty of games at higher settings very well and, you know, run tons of systems via emulation, no problem. It, it's a desktop replacement. If you want a smaller computer that performs like a desktop, this is the kind of thing you'd be looking for, I guess. I mean, I'm not trying to be pushy or nothing. I don't care if you buy one of these or not. But from my experience so far, yeah, this thing is great. So it's a respectable uh, setup here. If you're interested, links down below. Really do appreciate you guys. I'm gonna be using this in more content in the future. Uh, there's a lot of potential here for this PC. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.